Hello. Boop, 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 boop. Yo, 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 yo. Um, what's up, everybody? Dial state of mind. Shout out to Daniel. Dan, you ain't early, man. It's early, bro. <laughs> the Daniel Berry Sports, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy here early, man. What's up with everybody, man? Um, you know, it's Monday. It's a nice day. Uh, this solar eclipse nonsense that's been going on, you know. Did you check it out, the solar eclipse? Yeah, I, check it. I was outside. <laughs> <laughs> you had the glasses or you're looking at it bald? Nah, bald. I didn't look at it. Though. Oh, okay, okay. It was just dark outside. I definitely didn't look at it. Okay. Now, I had the glasses and everything. The family and whatever. We had a good time. It was cool. Was it real? It was real. <laughs> yeah. But like like where I was at in Queens, it, it didn't completely go across the um the sun. It went like like kind of like glanced it. Mm -hmm. But um most of the sun was gone. Yeah, she was doing. Oh, that's why it was dark outside. All yeah. the gremlins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's dark outside. Oh man! Shout out to State. I came bringing gifts here. I bought them my own. Oh, the king, the king fungal pop. <laughs> the fungal pop. Um, what's how we get into first? Uh, should we get into the next post game from yesterday? Should we get into the Randall news? Uh, you know. Matter of fact, let's get into the let's get into the Randall news. Um, I want to get that out the way first. Once Randall <laughs> was notified, <laughs> and it was notified on January twenty eighth, right, that he re stayed, he re injured his shoulder, right, it was January twenty eighth. So I'm gonna assume that's why the Knicks got Bojan and Burks, right. Once I was notified of that, I conceded the season, right. It's over. Regardless of how they play, all I'm hoping for them to do is play hard for the rest of the season. Right. But I think it's over. That's just me personally. Well, what's what's over? What 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 was um what was the peak before Julius went out? Championship. Okay. Now that Randall's out, I gotta <laughs> I gotta pray for yo. Know, shout out to D Block. Um, shout out to my guy, Coach Man. I uh, appreciate y'all guys, man. Y'all guys been here early. When Randall went down, the championships hopes went down. <laughs> and that's I true. said, it's over. That, and I that's how I feel. Well, you still got to play the games, though. You never know what's going to happen. If, if if our guys stay healthy and we get it together, like like the other team's got to stay healthy. You know, because right, right off the bat, we're about to play Boston. Chris Stapps is out and Horford is out. So what, what if they end up having injuries where they don't make the play, where they don't play in the playoffs? Then what? I can't. I don't want to wish that on nobody. <laughs> things, things happen though. Things happen. Things happen. Well, I, I'm, I, that's the problem with with the Knicks, right? And mm -hmm. certain Knicks fans that I have is that we're so used to like you're hoping that something bad happens to the other team in order for us to have good fortune. I don't. I'm tired of that. I right. want us to have good fortune without having to worry about other teams' bad fortune. But you're a Knicks fan, right? Yeah, how much bad fortune have we had throughout our, our Knicks career, man? Even yeah. talking about the if you want to talk about the 90s, uh, that fight we had in Miami, we should have won the chip that year. <laughs> Pat Riley, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, uh, freaking out uh, John Starks went, went 11 for whatever, but he also had knee surgery that year, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he almost didn't play at all, yeah. I, yo, I, yo, it's crazy that you brought up John Starks. I recently wrote a um, uh, Substat article on John Starks and. I found out the reason why he shot so bad in game seven. Why? So two days before game one. That sounds like bullshit already. No, 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 no. This okay. is real talk. This is real talk. I made sure, like, I looked up, I looked this up, and I made sure, like, I'm not bugging, right? Right. Um, Two days before the finals game one, John Stark's uncle died. Okay. So when his uncle died, he started suffering from uh, sleep def deprivation, whatever, whatever the fuck it's called. Like he could not sleep. Right. So game six, the night before, he got rest. He got like five hours of sleep. The game before, the night before game seven, he had no sleep. Mm -hmm. Like he broke night. Right. So that can explain why he went two for 18. Right. So now that I look at it decades uh, like further and I suffer on what I'm going through. I'm like, I I sympathize with this guy. I get it. You know, I don't know his relationship with his uncle and stuff like that, but the team had to know, right? Did the team know? Because if the team knew, sure if, if the team knew, then that's on Pat Riley. 
because Pat Riley had, had ample guys to play instead of playing John Starks all those minutes, knowing John Starks' uncle just died. That's true. So and there you go right there. So when it comes to Pat Riley, what's effed up about Pat Riley and um what's what's good, what's good, Dell Music. I appreciate you, man. Yo, what up, fam? Good to see State Man. Appreciate you. Salute to you, salute to you. What what was crazy about Pat Riley? Um, he had a beef with Ronaldo Blackman. Like really, and yeah, so <laughs> So I did. I recently did an article on him, like and doing the research and stuff, looking at doc, um, documentaries. Right. So Ronaldo Blackman asked Pat Riley, "Can he take his family on the plane?" Pat Riley told him, "No." Ronaldo. This was right before the playoffs. So if you notice during that playoff run, right. you notice Ronaldo Blackman. He wasn't in the rotation like that. Right. Right. They was playing. I think it was Hubert Davis over him. And some they was playing somebody else over him. He barely got any minutes. He didn't play in game seven versus Indiana. And he barely played in game six. So in the finals, he didn't play at all. So at that moment in time, Pat Riley beefing with Ronaldo Blackman, coupled with John Starks, no sleep, uncle passing away. That's what you get for a game seven NBA finals. So then John Starks is the GOAT then. Because John Starks took all of that that pressure on him, all the bad um, you know. Uh, press all the bad shit for the last what is that? How many years now? Thirty years now. Mm -hmm. He took he took that shit for thirty years, and meanwhile it was all on Pat Riley's lap. That's bullshit. Yeah. So that that's why I would I always got mad respect for John Starks. I think John Starks is, you know, one of the greatest. Like, after like reading about him and and writing right. about him, I think he's one of the greatest Knicks of all time. Damn. Just, just the his journey, grocery store bagging in the grocery store, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Right. You you get undrafted you signed with golden state they release you because mitch richmond he was the rookie of the year so they had to release you right. then you you go on a tryout patrick ewan you try to dunk on him he injures your knee so the knicks can't cut you right you stayed on the knicks past december then pat riley and these boys go through multiple injuries and then you make the break in the rotation right he got it out the mud he did <laughs> Yeah, but don't take it away from Pat Riley, man. And Pat Riley needs some smoke now, man. You know, because I, I, I don't I don't read so many books of Pat Riley and stuff. He never mentioned none of that, yo. Yeah. You know, I think that's bullshit. Some somebody needs to call him out. <laughs> you know, so you put that in an article? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Somebody didn't need to call Hell him out. Yeah. Hell yeah. I would yo doing the research. I say, oh God, this guy Pat Riley. And then when I dug even further, and shout out to Coach Um Sarah, I apologize to Starks. <laughs> Damn man. Hey, hey, hey. You know, just the whole that whole era of Pat Riley, Charles Smith. I totally forgot Pat Riley was his coach. Yeah, he, and then it was multiple offenses. It's when um John Starks got thrown out of a game because he head butted Reggie Miller. Right, like little stuff like that. It, 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 that's what costs you championships, man. Yeah, that's what costs you championships, man. The Knicks experience everything, man. That that Charlie Ward PJ Brown fight was the worst though to me because I, I think I think we had the best team at that time to beat to beat the Bulls straight up you know in a seven game series we had enough that year so I mean there's a lot to think about a lot of stuff that we did throughout the years that we did we if we would have did one thing you know things would have worked out but I had no idea that happened with um with Pat Riley ninety four so I mean they need to say something you know don't don't hold that to the grave why do they hold things to the grave like that I don't I don't understand <laughs> yeah a lot of people man shout out to every from Queens, love, um, love from Queens, staying here. We appreciate you, man. That's that New York flavor. That's the New York flavor coach. I like Smith. Oh my God, <laughs> Charles Smith with the softest. He was soft, man. Softest. But the year before, he he had, he had scored fifty points in the game. Mm. You know, so you know, with the, that was with the Clippers, though. You know, it's not with the Knicks. The Knicks yeah. is a different type of smoke. They yeah. had him playing small forward, though, man. So. You know, Charles Smith was another one that that um that Pat Riley screwed over. Mm. You know, because the idea was for Charles Smith to come in and replace Oakley, but um due to injuries and due to, due to need, we, we had to play Smith at small forward. Damn. Yeah, but then we went. We ended up going to the finals. So, yeah. you know, you know, what can you do? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, shit. That that's how that's okay. how life works. Exactly. Yeah. And then, that's how life works. That's why we're still gonna make the um. We're gonna make the championship this year. <laughs> OG is gonna be our starting power forward, and then um. That's that's what it is. Yo, OG soft man. He's I, soft. I agree with you. He don't he's, rebound. 
He's soft. And and I got attacked today for calling him soft. I call him soft too. He's soft. And, and, Let me see what I said. I like when it, and when it comes to OG, like and shout out to God of Knicks, man. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Um, ever from Queens, ever from Queens, and I'm a younger Nick fan, 22. So I listen to fans who are older than me and see more of me and gain knowledge. I appreciate you, man. I'm, th- I'm 34. Shit. You ain't young, fam. <laughs> you keep acting like you're young, but you, you, you're right there. You're knocking on the door, man. Yeah, man. We're knocking on the door, but it ain't open there. <laughs> yeah. And they never know. That, that's what I said there. See, he, he was useless in the first half, but defensively, he came to play in the second half. Got to get his legs under him. I don't want to hear that excuse. That's RJ Barrett, 23 year old excuses. Yeah. For him, he gets no excuse. You can't go in a playoff game and score four points, and you're telling me you want 150 million for four years. Yeah. That's blasphemous. But, but can you give him credit for um for locking up um Giannis in the second half? That's like me eating a chopped cheese. I know defensively <laughs> you're gonna come play. Right? <laughs> I know he's gonna come play. That's, but but that's, he he didn't lock him up, but he basically neutralized Giannis in the second half. He he definitely did. In the first half, Giannis was in nicer terms, dog him. Right. Um, Giannis was using his upper body strength, but the second half, OG adjusted and he started getting low. Right. So like he was standing up trying to guard Giannis. Giannis, all you gonna do is move you back if you're standing up. Yeah. So if you lower, then he gave him two steps too. Yeah. If you give Giannis two steps, he's not gonna shoot the three because that's what we're doing. We're trying to step back so he can't so so he can shoot the three, but he's not gonna shoot the three. He's gonna try to run through you. Yeah. So giving him two steps is not a, not the right idea. Nah. Yeah. So, so it, you know, you know, shouts to OG, but you know, got to challenge these dudes, man. Yeah. You got to challenge these dudes. These dudes is in New York, man. You you wanna? It, it's people with families. They struggling to pay right. Wi-Fi. Right. Shit, my Wi-Fi bill was two fifteen. <laughs> <laughs> I let it run for two months. Damn. <laughs> what kind of Wi-Fi you got, man? <laughs> I got Optimal. Oh shit. <laughs> You got Optimus Prime or something? <laughs> nah, I let it run for like two, three months, but mm-hmm. it's you know little stuff like that. Like right. it, it's people who can't afford that, right? Right? And you mean to tell me you can't play because your elbow and you a millionaire? Right? How about you pay one of them chefs to feed your ass, to make sure you true, true. You know, I don't hear that actually from that. Yeah. Mm-mm. And then my main beef with OG, and one of the biggest reasons why I call him so. He never goes for the ball. Right. He never runs to the basketball. RJ runs to the basketball. Give me the basketball. You have to take the basketball and start being Is that aggressive. a positive, though? No, that's a negative for me. Well, I'm saying a negative. Uh, is that a positive for RJ to run to the basketball? Because I think that's what got him traded. I mean, shit, but Tibbs was using him like a spot-up shooter. You see how he shoots different on, on the Raptors. Right. So you can't play RJ the way you play OG and Anobi. Right. But at the same time, Randall hurt. So now, in hindsight, we kind of need RJ because then we will run the offense through RJ. You know, nah, but nah, you kind of need OG to just be aggressive. Yeah. yeah, he's never been that way though. Yeah, he gonna have to start. Yeah, they want to win a playoff series, right? Yeah, he don't got no moves to the basket. You know, really. You know, he he's one of those guys that play within the offense. You know. Yeah. We we got a lot of guys that do that. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, it's. I love the fact that he's a willing ball mover. Mm-hmm. Right, he's not he's not a ball hog. Um, of course, yes, go let's go Yankees. Shout out to my guy Michael. I'm gonna try to get a get a, get a Yankees graphic yeah. for sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, you coach, you right. RJ ain't coming back. You damn right, and that's why I'm ragging on OG because OG asked you four points. For you're not winning a fucking playoff game with him scoring four points. No, playoff, no. like the playoffs is way different from regular season. Right. And you could feel it through the TV screen. So I hope he's ready for that smoke. <laughs> Is do you think the Bucks are ready for the Knicks? Because um we, we play we play physical defense, man. You know, and then it's, it seemed like once the Knicks um in the second half, once we put the um the our feet down, it, it felt like they, they backed off of us. Anytime you play Doc Rivers in a playoff, I don't give a fuck who is seeing me coaching. You play him, you got a chance. <laughs> right, right up, man. No shit, so, yeah. So, <laughs> yo, he what? gave up, man. He gave up in the, like the last minute, in like ninety seconds, or whatever. He he took everybody out. I was like, oh shit, you know. Yo, it, it's funny because OG, it, 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 OG, like you can see Tibbs just drilling it into. I seen Tibbs talking to him last game. Tibbs was, um, you know, it looked like Tibbs was telling him, "I like what you're doing. Keep doing that." 
doing that shit while he's barking at a ref. Right. So OG, like, I just need him to be aggressive. Josh Hart, another one. Right. Y'all look up. This motherfucker had three points, eight assists, eight rebounds. <laughs> That's what he does, man. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you, if you don't want to score, give me everything else. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got to have three points. He, he was one for seven at the time, but he was eight rebounds, eight assists. And the one thing I noticed about Josh Hart, I don't know if you noticed it, and I, I would love if you could speak on it. Um, I think ever since – Randall went down, right? Josh Hart playmaking has evolved. Right. I don't know if it's Tibbs just saying, okay, fuck it. I'm going to just put the ball in Josh Hart's hands because he's our worst shooter. Mm -hmm. And it's basketball reasons why. Or Josh Hart is just really excelling at it. And maybe the other guys need a break being on ball when there's no Randall. So how do you feel about um, Josh Hart's playmaking so far? The past two months? It's great. One one thing that he does is um is when he gets the rebound, he pushes the pace. You know, so it gets everybody to move move fast. A lot of times he goes straight to the basket. If he don't have it, he can kick it out to the shooters. The thing about it, sometimes when the guys don't have it, they move the ball again. So that that's why these these assists are coming because the ball is coming back. You know what I'm saying? So I think I think that's one of our one of our, our keys to winning, man. Because OG's part of that too. OG would get it if you don't have the right shot. He's not going to take the shot. He'll rather just pass it. But the ball has a chance to come back to him. You know, so I, I feel like that's what the Knicks have been missing throughout this whole time, man. Let, let that ball move. Stop holding on to it. That's what Julius was doing. Yeah, you know. So that's the difference. We, we're gonna win games by letting that ball fly. Yeah, and whoever gets the gets the right shot should take it. And yeah. that's what's been happening. So yeah, Josh Hart, he's been playing super well after a month of straight bomb him on Twitter. Yeah, I, I know he retweets. He got he to do him. he do because we be violating. I'm not even going. He's, <laughs> he's a family man, so I think that motherfucker's on a computer just like us all day long. <laughs> That's why they started the podcast. They the motherfuckers on their phone all day, you know. <laughs> yeah, shots to the chat too. Josh and OG are great role players, perfect for Brunson. So you believe Brunson is a superstar? Oh my god, he's a superstar, bro. Motion. No, he's not a superstar. Detector. He's a he. A he's superstar. All star player. He's a probably top five MVP in candidate. He is. He's a superstar. And he's not a superstar though. Superstar means you got rings. <laughs> Or you got cultural impact, or you've been to the finals before, or you've been is Embiid a um uh star player? Yeah, accolades. That was my fourth one. Okay, accolades. You got to be an MVP of some sort. Like I don't view Luca as a superstar. I don't view none of these dudes as superstars. You like I don't. Tatum would be a superstar if he wins an MVP. So Tatum, like, Tatum's I, not a superstar. I view him as a star. I agree with that, but a lot of people don't agree with that. I I, I get it. LeBron a superstar, Curry a superstar, right. Giannis a superstar, Jokic a superstar, Kawhi a superstar. How many superstars in the fucking NBA? Not twenty. Right. It's only about seven of them. Yeah, superstar. I think is um that term is like loosely thrown out there. You know, I agree. Luca's not a superstar. Not until he wins something. No, it, it's not even about winning something because Tracy McGrady was like a superstar by the age he was like twenty five, but. I guess it's just the impact, cultural impact too. Right. Uh, like, do people in the inner cities like vibe with you and, and stuff like that? It'll, it'll take some time, but I think Luca get there. He just need one more season, one more season. Like, I view Kyrie as a superstar. Right. Out of respect. Um, For the culture too, man. Like you said, you know, the ball handling, the movies, either the movies and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, but I mean, but I think Brunson is right there, man. Hey, he's you know, right there. Yeah, he's right there, knocking on the door. He got forty points against the the Bucks. You know, in their own house. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they, they were saying that every time the Knicks show up to a game, that um the um the best play is not on the Knicks, but then um, Brunson comes to their house and gets forty points. Yeah. And the win. Yeah, Brunson. <laughs> you know, Brunson, Brunson Cole. I don't know. He best under six foot two scorer I've seen since Iverson. And yeah. look, Isaiah Thomas was great, but I just felt like. <laughs> <laughs> there you no, go, right? No, yeah, Jalen Iverson. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Isaiah Thomas was great. Uh, yeah, shout out to the the super chat. Um, I would state not yet, but but Brunson is almost there. Appreciate you, um, Dell Music. Uh, well, well, we both appreciate you. Um, I get it. Um, that's my stance when it comes to Jalen Brunson. I just feel like Brunson. He's just he's on the cusp. Mm -hmm. We got to give him some more time. 
I don't want to give him all of that love out the gate like that. He just got to earn it. That's all. But I respect him, though. I respect him wholeheartedly. So, so, um, Okay, let, let, let's let's say let's say um, well Brunson did it last year though he he almost averaged forty well he he literally legit almost averaged forty against Miami right I think it was like thirty five or something like that close yeah, right yeah, so so what if he does that again for the players where he's almost averaging forty in the players and we get let's say we get to the Eastern Conference Finals oh yeah he, yeah he might yeah that cultural impact that that's gonna be goaded that's gonna be a goaded right. playoff run for him individually um, I don't know I might it depends on how I wake up that day. Yeah. <laughs> and it depends on who he beat when he, when, while getting there too. Well, there's a lot. Of, I mean, every single team is going to be a legit on win. If we if we play Indiana, it's legit. Oh, yeah. If we yeah. play the Cavs, it's legit still. Yeah. If we play uh, Orlando, if, if you play the Bucks, uh, Philly, any of those guys, yeah, all those teams are legit. Yeah, I, yo, it depends, man. It depends, man. Um, shots to um, I like uh, I fuck with this combo, especially the super superstar criteria. Appreciate you, King. Uh, yeah, man. People just thought the word superstar everywhere. Right. Now, I disagree with that. People call Randall superstar. They're like, no, these dudes, you got to put in more work to be a superstar. You got to have right. accolades. Right. You know? Uh, I, oh, yo, I love Nick fans. Yo, hit that like button and subscribe, too, man. We appreciate y'all. 187 people right now. I'm <laughs> watching it, watch it live. I think it's about 140 on Twitter. Appreciate y'all, man, yeah. uh, for tuning in. Uh, definitely hit that like button. Brunson is better than Luca. I will not say that on here because I would like for them to be teammates again. <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, like um, I don't, I don't want to look too far. Like, let's like, like say shout out to Josh. Me and Josh was arguing online because he wants to talk about contracts already. You know, signing Julius and trading this guy, trading that guy. It's not time to do that yet because when yeah. it when it is time, a guy like Luca, um, he might very well um be be the, that guy that we go get. Yeah, you know. So yeah, I, I I try not to get. I don't get into the contract conversations. I right. just tell everybody, yeah, I'm resigning Randall. I'm resigning Brunson. Right. That that's how I just and that because you know with the Knicks right now is my philosophy right now with them is you, you made your bed, lie in it. Right. You know you picked this direction. Fuck you, trading Randall for. I'm not trading Randall for me. Why? Right. For what? what? That's not the move. That's not the move for us. It, it, not. It's pointless. And B didn't get us here to this point. Brandon right. did. Right. You already didn't trade it all, Jay. Right. No, then people know how I feel about that. So since you traded all Jay, I gotta ride with Randall. Right. So I, I just I, nah, I, I don't entertain um contract talks and, and, and stuff of that nature at, right. at all. This is a time and a place for it. Right now, the conversation should not be clouded with that right now. Yeah, because there's so much basketball left to be played, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And um you know, going from Josh Hart and, and, and JB, shout out to, yo, Bones, shout out to my guy Bones, man, appreciate you, OG, man, appreciate you, Dollar State of Mind, episode 92, <laughs> um, the last three months, JB been playing MVP, yeah, you're damn right, you're damn fucking right, you've been playing like an MVP, shout out to Eric from Queens, another super chat, appreciate you, always, always support Nick's family, appreciate that, man, um, Delano again, <laughs> Randall ain't no superstar or all-star, I'm paying to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Dilla is crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. I got a link up with my man. He, he, he's been trying to get me to come out to Brooklyn to, to one of the spots. So definitely got to try to <laughs> yeah. do that. Yo, shout the Audi, man. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you pulling up. Yeah. Um, yo, salute to B. Willis. Salute to um, Ebro, my boy State. Your cash, your cash, bro. What's good, friend? <laughs> um, appreciate you, man. You want to send me a super chat? My cash app out there, bro. I don't got, <laughs> you got to sub, bro. You got to like and subscribe and shit. You got to make sure I get a thousand subscribers so I can get super chats, bro. Y'all know this. I, I get, yo, I get 200 live watches minimum right. every fucking live stream. Right. You got to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, everybody that's, that's on Twitter needs to go to YouTube because there's like, like you said, a buck, a buck 50 right now, probably. Yeah. Easy. You know, or probably more than that, probably like 200 on, on, on Twitter alone. Those Twitter people need to come over to YouTube to support the channel. I don't understand. No, no, it's, it's cool. They'll, probably, they'll pull up when they pull up, man. You yeah. Know, I don't stress stuff like that. As long as you watch it. Yeah, I get that, it. That's that, that's the best. You saying Luke ain't a superstar, you bugging. Um, yo, the only reason why is because my criteria is kind of different from yours. I don't view Luca, Devin, Devin Booker might because he got to the finals. Right. But I don't see kids in Africa wearing Devin Booker jerseys. Right. You know what I'm saying? I see kids in Africa wearing Kobe Bryant jerseys, LeBron jerseys, what Durant jerseys, 
Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't view him as a superstar yet. But the thing is, what like, cause me, me and you are on the same page with that. But I mean, what does somebody? What do? What is um Dwayne Freddie Herbert's um criteria for a superstar? Yeah, I don't know. Right. I don't know. Maybe it is it the accolades? Is it because he's averaging thirty eight and eight? I mean, that's amazing. Right. But but Jordan, shit, averaged thirty five. What eight and eight with two steals and a block? Right. Defensive player of the year, MVP, yeah, and, and then do shit in the playoffs. <laughs> and like you said, cult- culturally, who who's really checking for Luca like that? Who who who's saying that yo, I want to be like Luca? You know, I think right now everybody's doing this in, in college. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I've yeah. seen a lot of like, people in college doing this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't you don't see nobody doing nothing that Luca does. You know, but it's also it's also where he's at too. He's in Dallas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. O- only. Like Dirk and the whiskey, the difference between Dirk and Luca, like us niggas vibe with Dirk. <laughs> that's, that's Yo, Dirk's married to a black woman. <laughs> Yo, he showed he showed he showed up to games with with um with with a with a paper plate full of food with a paper plate on top of it, aluminum foil on that bitch, man. That motherfucker married to a black woman, fam. You know, and, and she she's not just like half black and half white. She's straight like. <laughs> you know, she she black black. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah, so Dirk, it, it, Dirk is tough. Yeah, Dirk is tough. I'm not even gonna. I love Dirk the whiskey, but Luca gonna get there. Is, it, is people in the hood talking about Luca now? Is people in the barbershop his name getting mentioned? It's just, it's just Luca just gotta start. You know, start being. No, he, he just got to do more. That's all. Yeah, I, don't, I, I think he's a star. I don't want to be disrespectful, but his wife is, is good looking, man. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, Dirk the whiskey. Man. She bad, right? She, not, yeah, she ain't not, a regular black chick, man. Yeah, she, she, she bad, man. Shout out to Dirk the whiskey, man. Shout out to Dirk the whiskey. Um, Ant-Man is on his way to being a superstar. Yes. On his way. I agree. All of these guys is on their way to be superstars, bro. All of them, bro. I would consider. All, all of them. I would consider Ant. I would consider Ant a superstar <laughs> over Luca just just from the like from the cultural impact. And I disagree with that. Yeah, I gotta put him on the same boat. Same boat, okay. Yeah, I gotta put him on the same boat. Um, I give you, I give you that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, only only because I want to, I want, I just want to stay consistent with the criteria, right? Because the criteria is like kind of funny for everybody. Well, Ant Ant was in a movie. He get in there. He yeah, get, like, you know what I'm saying? He you know? yeah. <laughs> and he did a good job too. He get there, like. Kevin Garnett was a superstar. Right. Everybody know Kevin Garnett. One of the best power forwards of all time. I think right. he's probably fourth best all time. He's a, up there is debatable. Yeah, when you're when you're up in the clouds, it's, it's, it's debatable. Yeah. Well, yeah, Duncan, then Dirk, uh Crumb Kevin Malone, Garnett. Barkley. I'm I'm taking Garnett over Barkley Malone. I'm taking Giannis over Barkley Malone. And I'm taking Dirk over uh, Barkley Malone. Giannis? Yeah. Oh yeah, Giannis. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about him. Yeah, I got to. But I mean, those guys are like floating in the in the, in the clouds. No, no, yeah, 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 they floating in there. They floating yeah, in they there. They all like too. God, God level, in there. God tears. You they, know? They in there. But it, also, um, popularity too. That's another thing too. Shouts to Andy, man. Appreciate you for that popularity. It counts, bro. Yeah. Like people love it, man. Yeah. Love Chris Webber too. You know, if you look at Chris Webber's numbers, yeah, some no, no, Chris Webber's a superstar. Yeah. Chris Webber is a superstar because Chris Webber, the cultural impact. Um, I, he's the reason why I hate the Lakers. Like, I genuinely hate them. Yeah. I remember as a kid watching the Sacramento Kings in 2002 versus the Lakers. They got robbed. Game six. They got robbed. Yeah. I, I was a Kings fan. I loved him, Biggie. Jay Will was on the team the year before. Who else was on that team? Doug Christie. Yep. Um, Rick Fox and all of them. Rick, well, that's, that's no, on the no, Lakers. No, no. Lakers Rick, right. Rick was on the Lakers. Um, um, Bobby Jackson. Bobby, J- Bobby Jackson. Yep. Vladdy Diva. Yep. And he cheated them. Yeah, man, that shit made me cry, man. Yeah. That shit made me I was so mad, man. And then yeah. Robert Ory with the... With... Yeah, we got... I mean, they got they got Rob, man. Everybody knows that. And plus, the, the referee that was that was doing the series was the guy that was in, in that... um. The scandal, the referee oh, Tim scandal. Donahue. Right, he was a part of that. Tim Downey, yeah. the weather was a star since high school. Also, high school too. That means a lot. Yo. Brunson won two chips in, in high school. Anyone two chips in college? 
We'll see, man. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, man. I just can't give it to Brunson like that. I, 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 nah, man. He gotta, he's a winner. He's a he's winner. winner. He's a yeah. winner for sure. Like, he's a winner, yeah. He, he's a winner for sure. He he came to the Knicks and he basically saved everybody's job. Where? So, you know, I respect Brunson. And then with Brunson came along a guy who I shit it on the whole last summer. Dante DiVincenzo. Right. This mother, this Italian motherfucker. Here. I didn't think he was going to be that good. Yeah. Uh, because he, he's shooting the ball. Like, he's one of the best shooting guards in the NBA, legit. You know? Yo, big Paisa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, the Paisa. Yo, he's really good. Yo. Yeah. I think he's um top eight in NBA in deflections. Yeah. Do you view him as a star shooter? Absolutely. He's one of the best shooting guards in the NBA. Uh, if you if you want to talk about offense and defense, you know, there's not too many people just as good as him on both sides of the ball. That's true. And he got a career high of steals this year with 100 plus. Right. So uh, shout out to Dante DiVincenzo. And, and he's on a great contract, too. Good, good value contract. Um, shout out to the chat. Uh, Michigan was a phenomenon. You know, they was talking about um, Chris Weber. Weber was a star since high school. Um, Dwayne asks, is not beat a superstar? Yes, he is a superstar, bro. MVP winner. You're damn right he is a superstar. Yeah, and they love him in China, too. Uh, yeah, especially in China. Yeah. Brunson a winner. He brings winning culture. Yes, he do. Brunson came in and changed the culture. Keep going. He, he will, he'll get, get his two in the NBA. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Brunson was going to be a first-round pick. I don't know, but I thought so too, but he was too small. Right. Uh, right now, I got Brunson as a top top 10 second round pick of all time. No doubt. Uh, I have him as a top five free agency pick of all time. And I have him as one of the best Nick players in franchise history right now. He might be six on my list. He's but getting up there, man. You know what I'm saying? Six He's getting up list. there. Cause um you, you got guys like Richie Guerin that made the um Hall of Fame. Yeah, Richie Guerin. That's out of respect. Clyde. Right. That's out of respect. Right. Earl. That's out of respect. Willis Reed. That's out of respect. Patrick Ewan. That's out of respect. That's right. why I said six. Right. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I wasn't going. Yeah. Wasn't going. But he got a lo- he got a long way to go to getting the- get- getting those rafters. You know. There's quite a few plays in those rafters. If Randall retired today, the Knicks will retire his jersey. Is that my wife calling me, man? Let me see. Because <laughs> you know, <laughs> Yo. Mark Gasol got his jersey retired. Nothing you can say about it. I mean, he got the numbers. You know? He got the numbers and he got the longevity for it. Yeah. You know? Uh, call, oh, tough conversation. But you got to win, though. You do. You got to win. You know? and, and with that winning comes, you need bigs, right? You need right. bigs if you want to win the finals. Me bigs, right? We got iHeart, we got Mitchell Robinson. Let's start with Mitch first. He was horrible the game before this game, right? This game, him and Deuce McBride was one of the main reasons why I felt like we won. But him specifically switching one through five, the the offensive rebounds to get us back in the game, um, the block on Giannis, uh, the block on Middleton, oh. Uh, I think he had like four blocks. Uh, the attention to detail. He looks more spry. He looks like he's getting it. He's getting acclimated, right? Yeah, I give you that. Um, I heart. He's been here the whole season. The big German holding it down. Um, multiple um, double doubles. He had a ten and twenty game um, earlier this season. Right. Um, how you feel about those two going to going into you know the last final run of this season? And do you agree with Tibbs? Playing precious five minutes yesterday. I thought, <laughs> was he hurt? Nah. So I mean, that's a big problem, man. Because how we've been winning these games is we've been winning through rebounding. You know, so I, I think benching precious, you got to find minutes for him because um, we're gonna need. Like I mean, all of our big. You just mentioned you forgot about um, Sims, Jericho Sims. So I mean, in a in a playoff situation, let's say if we really need to go crazy with the bigs, we can we can like blitz them. Yeah. If he wanted to send a bunch of bigs out there, let Mitchell Robinson go crazy to the point where if he gets a foul trouble, who cares? We pull, we got Sims. Sims come out there, do 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 his thing. We got Hartstein, we got Pre- we got Pre- we got four guys that we could put out there to bully the other team, and I, I think that's the asset that, that we have there, and yeah. we got to take advantage of. It, I think. Uh, um, 
you know, let's say let's say if this this Knicks team wins wins it all, wins the championship. Nine players from the seventies Knicks teams all are in the Hall of Fame. Right. Um, a couple of those players' jerseys are in the Raptors. Does Melo get his jersey retired? Um, I don't. You know, with, with Melo, with Melo, it's more of a cultural thing for him. And then people, people are like, oh, the Knicks haven't won in Mad Long, so that's the only. Um, at least modern Knicks fans, that Melo is the only era that they remember where the Knicks won anything. And they keep talking about that one fifty two, um, win season. But um, nobody, nobody talks about um, Bill Cartwright. You know, nobody talks about. Um, What's it, Bob McAdoo? Those guys won 50, 50 wins back in the days. Nobody ever talks about them. But why why does Melo little pocket of time? Why 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 is his um that, that season so up there? You know what I'm trying to say? Because um, um Melo lost more than he won in New York. Yeah. Um I think from a cultural standpoint, um standpack, cultural standpoint, um, I think Melo by default has to have his jersey retired. Um it, 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 he ushered in a whole generation of Knicks fans. And what the franchise gave him to win, it was like you kind of sense the sentimental value of it. He gave him 38-year-old Jason Kidd and told him who. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Y'all serious? That's an excuse to me, man. Jared Jeffries after Melo goes 42 and 17. It can't be an excuse. Management got to – in my opinion, I feel like it can't be an excuse because management should have that type of sentimental value towards Carmelo Anthony and you no, know, he, he gave his all to the organization. Do you think yeah. his number should get retired in um Denver? Because Denver already gave his number away to to um to Jokic. Nah, his number will not be retired in Denver. It can't because it's Jokic's number. Yeah, so it's like the only other place is hit. Uh, but he didn't have that same um effect in Denver though. Mm-mm. So um before he got there, um they were losers. But when he when he got there they won every single year he was there. They did, but it's like they didn't I don't know. Like I I, I I can't put a finger on it. You, but you know what I'm they they won they won. Big, I, I think it's seven. They won seven years with, with Melo in Denver. Then he comes to the Knicks and he doesn't win seven years. That's true. But it, look at the teams he was on in Denver. Look at the teams he was on in New York. Right. Probably to his fault. It was also the Knicks' fault because they ain't Amnesty Chauncey Billups. From right. What I remember. Right. Um, or Amnesty Amari. Amari, about Amari right. Um, with that said, Knicks ain't retiring Randall yet. We haven't even retired Bernard King. That's another one. Well, I mean, Bernard King really only had like three years, and and then he got a, a season and an injury, you know. But but he's from um, Brooklyn also, so it's, it's sentimental shit, you know. But sentimental, regardless. Um, as a matter of fact, not for nothing. Bernard King had more um, uh, uh let's say like playoff um stuff that uh, that he did that was more than mellow. I think, mm. you know, I think I think they swept um didn't they sweep um Boston one year? Pistons. Yeah, they swept somebody. They swept the Pistons, I believe. Right. Um, yo, shout out to the Super Chat. <laughs> yo, the line, <laughs> music. We pissing him off. Yo, you got to be you gotta be in a bar right now. He <laughs> got to be in a bar, bro. Yeah. Hell no, 30 will always and only be Bernard King paying two to say that. <laughs> well, that, that's true. I forgot Bernard King got, got on his, um, you know, Julius got Bernard King's number. <laughs> shout, out to, shout out to Trippy. Report live for home um, Twitch. Brunson is now baby mellow to me. Can't tell me different. <laughs> uh, don't let Mitch get into the game shape. I got to say to let Mitch get acclimated. We ain't got time for Mitch to be getting acclimated. He got to play now. I'm, I'm glad he's getting acclimated, but yeah. I, shit, he, he got to play now. But he kind of pissed me off one, one time. I forgot who it was. I think it might have been Damian Litter. He drove in, and Mitch was, was chasing him like this. Oh, uh, so – the, the context, the only defense I have for that, the play prior, they gave him a – they called a bullshit foul on him. So he just let him go because he didn't want to get the fifth foul call. But they, I think he made it up for it about two plays later when he, he punched – um, right, I, I forgot who he punched at the rim and Josh Hart scored. Right. But that's the point I'm trying to make. If, if Mitchell Robinson is in foul trouble, it doesn't matter. Play hard. Like, don't let Lilly get to the basket. Um, uh, uh, um, block the shot. Foul him, make him fall to the ground, make him feel it, and then if we need somebody, we can send um Hartenstein out there. And then um Precious only played five minutes. We got Precious that can come in there and um take over the minutes if Mitch Robinson gets in trouble. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah shout, 
Shout out to the 272 that's in here. It's a lot of people in here. Gang Green, what's up, man? Yeah. Um, Jay from the East, what's good? What's good, my guy? Appreciate you. He's um, in the house. Co- coaches in here. Um, they used an out for Amari on a on an expiring Billups deal and could have used it. That, yo, bro, we know this, bro. <laughs> we know yeah, that, bro. yeah, we know. But no one retiring mellow number. <laughs> yo, mellow haters? Who do you think is worse? Mellow haters or Randall haters? Um, Randall haters. <laughs> Randall haters are the worst. Oh God, man! You got to give guys benefit of the doubt, man. Guys are growing. You talking about kids all the time, man? Yeah. Uh, Julius Randall, we we watched him grow from a kid to to like a grown man now. He's he's thirty. He's been here for a minute. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we watched him grow into a man. You know. Four or five years, shit. We watched Caden grow up. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> No shit. Shit. <laughs> shit. 15 should be retired with both names. You know, that's that's a sentimental take. That's an emotional take. Um uh, well as Brunson is is lethal. That yo, B. Willis, man. I'm not we yo, like who the top five scorers in NBA history to you? In the NBA? And, no, like that you've ever seen. Um Jordan number one. Um I, I, outside of that, everything, everything is subjective. You know, it depends on how you how you like to play basketball. You know, because I, I can go, I can go to um guys like say Kevin McHale. You know, if you ever seen Kevin McHale play, then 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 um then you then you will feel me on that. You know what I'm saying? Because he had like a million moves, you couldn't guard him. You know what I'm saying? That's one guy. Um, you know, um, I, I never seen um. Well, you said people that I've seen, but it's, it's subjective. You know, really, because there's been so many different scores out there. That, that, there hasn't really been anybody that crazy besides Jordan. Because the, the argument I was having was like, I say Melo's a better scorer than KD. I agree with that. And, the, you know, a guy said, shout out to, to OG Tony. Like, yeah, well, well KD, he's a scoring champion. Uh, he's more efficient. I said, yo, Melo hit more game-winning shots. I believe he has a better handle. Stronger rebounder. Um, poof. What else? Might be a better passer. Better? Nah, I don't think he a better passer than Durant. Than on Durant, yeah. I don't think he a better passer than Durant. Better scorer for mid range, even though Durant is more efficient. I feel like Melo is just more lethal for mid range. Melo is a better post player. Better post player. Right. Anywhere inside the free throw line, I'm giving it to Melo. Yeah. If I had a team, matter of fact, I switch it. You switch out. Mello for Durant when Durant was up 3 1 versus Golden State. Golden State goes home the very next game. There will be no game six or game seven with Carmelo Anthony. That's a different type of animal. Think so? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a um, different type. It's a, a, a Mello the, never had a prime Russell Westbrook. Right. Never ever. <laughs> but but he had a, a semi semi prime Allen Iverson though. Iverson was like 30. He's cool, man. But he still averaged 34. 25 points, though. He's still 34, man. Yeah, Iverson, I got you. He, he ain't give a shit about ball at that time. Iverson, That's true. Yeah, we yeah. All the, <laughs> like, all the folks, Iverson was on that bullshit towards the end of his career. That's he, true. He, he ain't want to come off the bench. He ain't want to mentor nobody. He, he, like, and I love Iverson. He's one of my favorite players of all time. But the way he went out, he should have never went out like that. I'm thinking about it, man. If Melo was on on OKC instead of instead of K, KG, I mean KD, oh man, I don't know. The spotlight still will be on be on him, and Melo oh, Melo don't pass the, when when Melo's on his shit, he won't pass the ball. You know? I think he'll pass it to, to I think he'll pass it to better teammates though. Yeah. Why would I pass J.R. Smith the ball? <laughs> Fuck that! I'm gonna take a shot. True. I pass a a prime Chris Mullen the ball or something. Get a better wing running mate. Right. So I, I think I think all of that take into account, like, mm-hmm. like for example, Victor Wembanyama, he a rookie, he forty and twenty dust the other day, right? Right? You see his teammates giving him the ball as a rookie. That's right. because you know, <laughs> right? Right? He about to be a defensive player of the year. Nah, he can't. No, he can't. he's ever he's leading the league in blocks. So he not this, you know, that's not his works. So now you just. He's leading the league in blocks by a lot. In, in the words of 
regular New Yorkers. Where I'm from, that's called D riding. <laughs> what? Like the NBA. Where, Benyama? Yes. The but NBA but so if he's, he's not, a rookie. If he's not the defensive player there, then who is? You got to reward winning. Right. So I felt. Who is? This is a good question. If, if there was another player on a winning team that was, that was that good defensively, then you give it to them. That's but true. I, I saw a graphic today. They did list some. I think I might have saved it. They, they list some of them. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me see. Right. I think I saved it, actually. Let me see. Okay. Some of the defensive player of the year award. Oh, right, yeah. It, so, who we got here? Who is that? Vic, Victor Wimanyama, Rudy Gobert, Bam Adebayo, Jared Allen, Anthony Davis. Just give it to Anthony Davis, man. Just give it to Anthony Davis, man. It's a popularity contest anyway, man. Rudy right. Gobert, you won it three times. That's boring. Jared Allen. Whoop. Unless Cleveland is a top three seed, I'll give it to Jared Allen. Out of respect. Jared Allen sucks, man. <laughs> that, that motherfucker is a trash can. You know, a guy like Bam out of Bayou, you know, he plays good individual defense. Fuck him. Yeah. I ain't fucking with nothing Miami related. Yeah, he's a dirty player, I will, too. I will never respect Miami again. Yeah, he's the dirty players over there. Miami, how the 90s Knicks fans feel about them, that's how I feel about them now. They, they, they ended my season. Right. I have no love for them at all. I, I want to say something else, but it's 296 people in here, so I don't want to wish nothing bad bad on him. Yeah, but I hope everything bad happens to him. No doubt, basketball court. That's crazy how Jamie Vasquez, whatever the fuck his name is, need to make me a chopped cheese. <laughs> how you just? Why the fuck you going for a charge? You down 17, my G. Right. In the middle of January. <laughs> you know Randall a dumbass. You know Rand Randall would pull up anytime. Many anytime, you know what that remind me of? Remember when Melo tried to dunk on Hibbert, right? And you thinking to yourself, Melo, motherfucker, you pull up for a jump shot any other time, right? Why the fuck you, why the fuck you go there that time? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Dale. Oh, Dale, Dale, yo, Dale, Dale, about to call me in a second. Say, yo, man, could you could you pick me up from the train station, man? You know, I ain't got to, you know. Rudy, go, man. Rudy may get it again. Respect Rudy. If Robinson didn't get hurt, he would. I agree. I agree. Who? Strongly agree. If Mitch didn't get hurt, he played this whole season. He would have. I think he would have got it for sure. I just, don't agree just, with that. Just me personally. He was leading the league in steals at one time, okay. and, and he was up there in blocks. I don't care, man. <laughs> when, when, he, when he got hurt, he was getting one point two blocks per game. Okay. You one point two. Mitch haters. I, I, I'm not. I'm not a fan of Mitch. I, I think. I think Mitch can help us win. But but I, I am not a fan of his. I think his IQ is so low. Yo, he yo, he blew a point blank um layup. I don't know if it was last night or it was the game before. But he he had, he caught the rebound and just blew night. it. It was last night. You, see, you know what I'm talking about, right? He just blew up like a point blank layup. I almost freaking like yeah. threw up on myself, I said, man. Yo, I said, I said, yeah, come on, man. Come on, yeah, man. man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Shout, out to, shout out to the chat, man. Shout out to the bone. And, and then he's shooting free throws like like this, like this and shit. You know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> Man, how many years has he been in the NBA now? Yo, for a long time. Yeah, his name Jamie fucking Vasquez, whatever, whatever his goddamn name is. They ended our season. Yeah. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. Um, and just and just moving along. I think we got all these guys. Tom, Tom Thibodeau, man. This coach, this should be his last season. Yeah, this, I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence with him, man. Um it, it, you know, Tom Thibodeau is, is supposed to be the guy that um that is supposed to be the like he, he's the most prepared coach, right? Yeah. But I, I feel like the the last few games we we um we showed up to these games not not knowing what the fuck is happening, you know. But then halftime comes, and then all of a sudden now the Knicks figure it out, and then then like the last few games we've been smashing teams in the second half. Yeah, that's, that's the Knicks for you. They want to put you through that hell first half, so the second half you be locked in. Right, so 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 it's it's right to give to give Tom Thibodeau the flames in, in in the first half, but that second half, you know who who do you credit there? You know, I credit Tibbs. He made adjustments. Yeah. He you made know? they made the adjustments necessary. And I think he just going to halftime. I think he just going to halves and just curse everybody. <laughs> I think so too. Honestly, I, I don't even think. It, I, I don't even think. For Christ's like, sakes, I, I don't. I don't think it'd be like, you know. Any nice talk going in the locker room, right, right, at, at halftime, and I, I and I think we got the team that actually like they don't mind it, right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes 
dudes are, are getting their feelings and they're, oh, man, I don't like this. You right. know, who knows what was said about Cam Reddish? You get know what I'm saying? Like, right. Who knows what RJ said to Tiv? Like, who knows? But right. it, it never gets out. Right. You know? But Tibbs is just, I need him done for the season. For the sole fact, the main, one of the main reasons why I want him done after this season is every single postseason we go into, the team is hurt. It's a pattern now. Right. It's time, it's time to end that pattern. When you notice a pattern, matter of fact, fool me once, cool. Fool me twice, I might be the fool. You fool me three times. Right. Okay. Now it's now it's like, all right, fuck this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tom Thibodeau, man. Like, like he 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 legit is running his team to, to, to shit. And then Mitch Robinson just came back and now Presses is not playing. What what is going on, man? I, yeah, I don't know, man. It, that's his philosophy though. Right, you, you know what I'm saying? That's what that's what you do, man. Shots to Delano again. Delano going crazy. Um, we lose into Orlando first round for sure. Now, brother, it, he's fucking with you though. That, that's um, uh, I know, I know he's fucking with you. Yeah, yo, yo, if the Knicks meet Orlando in the first round, they might get swept. I don't know about that, man. Y'all keep playing with the but you, you said you getting swept because of uh, Branchero, it's because their two best positions. They're healthy. The mix is hurt, and Randall not coming back. Right. We don't got enough tall guys. Who's their best positions though? Power forward, small forward. I agree with that. I'm more afraid of of uh, of um, what's what's the white boy's name? Franz. Franz. I'm more afraid of, of him than um Wagner, right? Yeah, but Franz don't be the one who be really killing us when we play Orlando. It'd be Palau. Yeah, but Palau be doing his be doing his thing or whatever. But we still win in spite of him. That's true. I, I just think they're just young. They're a young team. <clears throat> Nothing to lose. The two positions where we're hurt at, obviously they're still healthy. So I true I'd rather avoid them. I'd rather I'd rather play anybody else but them. Right? I think we could take the Bucks with the coach. You know, or Philly, we beat the hell out of Philly all season long. So I gotta right. take in this take stock into that. Right, but I know the Hawks smoked us years ago when we used three one them in the regular season. Right, but just that's the only team. Everybody else, I think I got smoke for them. I, well, to me, it's it's not Brand Cheryl per se, but but Orlando gives the Knicks matchup problems. Whenever whenever they have a team full of guys that all they all can score and they're all around the same height, the Knicks have a problem with them. Indiana's another one, another team like that. I'm not scared of them. No, nah, I'm not scared. They they rack up the score though. Yeah, but they don't defend enough, though. And I think they soft. I think they're soft, too. I, 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 and I, I know they soft from the way how Mitch Robinson and iHeart just ragged them around. I've seen, I, I've seen what Randall do to them, too. Right. So I know the Knicks don't really respect them. Right. Um, it, it's just a matter of matchups, seeding, and who play who first round. Um, ultimately, you know, the team that I ultimately want to face is Miami. I think Miami is yeah. I want really? that smoke. I want that smoke. That's that's gonna be a tough first round. I, I want that smoke, man. I'm tired of seeing Mitchell Robinson get killed by Ben. He's I'm, gonna he's gonna continue to kill him. Nah, though. man. He got he get he, he he gotta get better, man. Shout out to the chat too. You know, the chat going crazy, man. Fellas, man, gotta hit the shot. You got a phenomenal, man. I don't want to know if you're gonna shout pole. <laughs> 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 what coach would you be thinking to replace? Tips. That is a good question. I want Johnny Bryant. Um, He's going to the Nets. Jerry Stackhouse. But he, yeah, he might go to the Nets. <laughs> nah, if he go to the Nets, that's a good opportunity for him. Right. Maybe they could trade for Donovan Mitchell now, and I don't got to worry about Donovan Mitchell being next to Brunson, and I got to think about a short backcourt all the time. Right. You know, I, I I think he should be in the running for it, though. So what do you think about that as, as far as the players, playoff picture there? So playoff picture, you got – Knicks versus Cavaliers first round. Um, Orlando versus Pacers. That's going to be a goodie. Oof. The Bucks versus – who's going to be – now the Bucks is funny. You know what I think the Bucks are doing? Yeah, I heard this, and I'm like, yo, they might be really doing that on some snake shit. What? I think they tanking games, yo. Oh, to, to get a, a different seating? I think they don't want to play Philly the first round, yo. I think they taking games, yo. How you one for six, yo? I don't know about that because they can't beat Atlanta. 
Listen, man. <laughs> Atlanta like, been whooping their ass this year. That's they smoke. They ain't right, right, right. But they ain't lost smoke. Yeah. I, it, it's the Bucks is food, but I like the way this this playoff matchup looks. We get Cleveland first round, right? Again, but then we play um the Celtics second round. Bring them on. Yeah. Yeah. Bring them on. You know, Celtics they mentally fragile. Yo, if if um if um Horford and and Chris because they both out right now. Yeah. If they are out for the playoffs, the Knicks beat them. Because I think the big issue is, is the three point shooting. But um, we we um, you know, Mitchell Robinson and Hartenstein they get caught a lot by letting that um the big shoot the three. Mm-hmm. So so if Horford and Chris Stapps is out for the playoffs, I think I think we we get past them. That's a fact. Oh shit, Banks is in the building. Salute. <laughs> for Lloyd Banks. Yeah, man. Salute oh Banks. shit, appreciate you, man. No doubt, no doubt. Thanks for showing mad love. Up to the yeah, I see him in the, in the um in the in the what the, the Twitter spaces, right? Yeah, man. He came up to speak too. Yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Came over and spoke. Did Twitter. did he speak though? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that's what's Somebody, up. They called him out though. Okay, okay. Is it this ain't Banks? This a bot. Right, right, right. <laughs> so Banks, like yo, cool. But well, I mean, you know, <laughs> like like listen, listen to your spaces. I can't get in with it either. Sometimes I be listening to it, man. I can't get in this conversation, man. Because if I get into it, then then you know, because it, to me, it's different, yeah. right? You know, being live and having a microphone and the camera in your face is different. Than, than sitting like this, like, well, fuck you, motherfucker, yeah. like that. But then you, if you got a camera sitting back, it's just like, you know, you kind of just like, it's, it's almost like you have a monitor, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I, I'm more used to the, to the camera and stuff like that because I got myself in trouble with the with Twitter spaces before, man. So <laughs> you, you got you got you to gotta pull me in. Somebody got to pull me yeah. into the space so I can get back into and it. And I always make sure when I, when I have a co-host, I always make sure one of my co-hosts is like a, a, a OG. To okay. bring me in because I'd be wilding sometimes because people would just piss me off, but then they'll bring me in. So, but cool. then you piss off the OG because you pissed off what's the name? Um, <laughs> what's, what's, what's money's name? Um, uh, the, the guy you had on the last one, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I, Ooh, I'm not going, yeah, Billy, my man, Billy, <laughs> Billy, Billy's dope, man. But you had Billy, you had Billy wanted to like slap you through the phone, man, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to Billy, man. Yeah, man. I'm tapped in. Best content. Yeah. Appreciate you, man. Listen, man. I'm from New York. I don't D Rod, right? Yeah. I want to come on the pod and pull up and all of that. Right. But I want to make it genuine. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I don't like people been asking me, yo, hit them up. Nah, man. Let it right. let it marinate first. Let it let, <laughs> let it be natural. Let yeah, it, let me, let me let, let them it. know, <laughs> let them know it's a safe space. Yes. Know? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes like I said, sometimes you be going crazy, fam. Well, me, nah, nah, it's always yeah. a safe space. Yeah, for everybody, for especially for women, I always right. try to make sure like women feel comfortable. It's just you bozos who's random abbies who continuously disrespect me. You ever listen you know? to yourself though? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> sometimes, I do. sometimes you be going crazy, I bro. Do. And, and I'm, you know, damn, y'all should have never said that. So that's why I like the right, next right. day. Right. That person that I cursed out, I always like bring him up on space. I let him speak first. Like right. I like I always know sometimes I gotta write it in. Yeah, yeah. So I think most people understand that about you anyway. You know, most of it is just kind of just the, the, the moment, you know, we having fun. Don't take it personal, that type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Never yeah. take it personal. Yeah, my pops called me a little bitch, man, last year. I forgot what I was complaining about. <laughs> like, man, you acting like a little bitch, man. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm used to it. It's, it's cool. It's just yeah. like support, though. Like, right. Have all of the, the criticism equal. Right, you want right. to share my shit, but you don't share nobody else shit that you, you, people. And I got some doozies in my phone. Ain't nobody but, sharing nothing with you. Man. It, it, Every, it, it, to me, to me, it seems like everybody. I tell you that all the time. People steal your lingo like crazy, man, and and don't want to um um give you credit for it either. You know, <laughs> Almighty first, fourth C. Everybody can't wait to to wear the fourth C so they can start saying that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, and then you know so many other different things like um. What you be saying the um you know the civil rights numbers how 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 is somebody saying civil rights numbers with you not there you know that's something that you came up with I mean shit. and I, they're using it like it's theirs you know I mean I don't get it man <laughs> but you know you know it's like I, I I call it flattery but at the end of the day it's all about respect right you, know, you show me respect I show you respect right I'm not gonna show you respect when you share my shit you call me a dummy you say my merch trash. My merch ain't trash because I got a female with, with, with you know, boy shorts on. I appreciate day. that. Yeah. So, like, I don't know what you mean by my shit trash. Matter of fact, how about you do what I do? This, this is what I'm going to start telling you. You do what I do, right? I mean, you get this mic, 
right? With this, you buy all of this, you right. put your money in it. What's in this bag, matter of fact? What's in this bag? This merch? Yeah, this merch. How about you make some of this a song, right? <laughs> Send some merch to Nick fans, right. you know, and, instead of bitching all the time and complaining about what another Mick Rome man do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Stop that. Tell them please like and subscribe. The, the yeah, like and subscribe yeah. too. Yeah. And now you watching me. And hit earlier. the thumbs up on the way out too, yeah. you <laughs> cocksucker. You know? <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to protect myself, man. Yeah, no that's all. I stay throw to 100. If you, you know, it, that's what I signed up for. You, right. should, you, you know what I'm saying? I signed up for that. So, yeah. Okay. Um, last question. Should we re sign iHeart uh, this offseason? I think he has untapped potential. It's going to be tough, man. We got to sign a bunch of guys. I seen two reports recently. I seen one from yo, what's up, JJ? I see you, I see you, young boy. Um, I seen two reports recently. And um the first report was for run, no, it was for random. Four year 190 million. Sheesh. Oh um, sheesh. That's a lot of bread. Yeah, that's a lot of money. But then I seen another report for Brunson. Four year 150 plus million. Sheesh. It's, Every, it's, not everybody's gonna get gonna get that a piece of that pie, man. Why I didn't think about that before y'all traded the kids, though. <laughs> we have to pay them too, though. You got to pay um IQ. I would have paid him. Pay who? I'd paid IQ to um to a hundred something million to sit on the bench. Yeah. So then why won't you pay the rest of the guys now? I I'd have paid all of them. I pay everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's the there's, a, I'm on. There's, a, there's a salary cap though you can't pay everybody i mean i know somebody got to go so yeah i, I would have probably had to go right. in that scenario but i they, they were, matter of fact i put it like this og and anobi is looking for at least 14 to 15 million more than what rj is going to make right i would have paid rj and it's another thing so another caveat too we also paid josh hart too Right, and, and then we, and Dante DiVincenzo, so right. it's like it's mad variables to it. So, like, I agree with the decision, but then now this summer they're gonna have to like lock in on the scene, right? So, see, that, that's that's why I don't really want to get into this because I mean, we can go crazy with that with the numbers. Because I mean, uh, if we're gonna pay these guys, that means we can't keep um heart, we can't keep DiVincenzo, we're gonna have to do something to maneuver those guys around in order to pay the other guys. I think Dante, I think Dante Deuce. I think Dante and Deuce is safe. Mm. Dante, Deuce, Brunson. I, I think I, you have to keep and Dante. Josh? Expendable. I think he's expendable. So what about guys like Hartenstein and Julius? Julius? Not, not Hartenstein. I mean, um, uh, Mitch Mitch and Julius. Mitch, um, Julius, I'm keeping. Mitch, um, it depends. right? It, so where's the money coming from then? You know, because if you keep, because the Knicks are already over the cap right now. Yeah. You know, so something's got to give. Some, you know, somebody has to go. That's very true. Yeah. You want to pass? Yeah. Let's real quick. Yeah. Right. Motion well, um, detector. Nah, it, 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 it depends though. You know, when it comes to um, mm -hmm. I Heart and Mitch, um, I would love to keep them both, but then OG and Anobi, this fucking guy, he wants plus thirty-five million, so it's going to be hard to keep both. Then yeah. you gotta resign Brunson. Then you gotta resign all of these guys. But after we resign them, did we get better? We still got the same crew, and all we did was pay people. Yo, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna holler at you because but but see, here's the here's the thing about that. Again, man. No doubt. No doubt. Um, here's the thing about that when it comes to like paying people and, and, and things of that nature. Where do the Knicks end up after this postseason? Right. I think that. It takes into account and yeah, a man. lot as well. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, like if, if this group, even with Tom Tiddle, if we um if we get to the Eastern Conference Finals and we get bumped in the Eastern Conference Finals, um, then then now you have to um, talk about keeping Tom. You got to talk about re-signing other people. If we if we bopped out the first round, even the second round, it's like yo, we got to make a decision now. Somebody got to stay. Somebody got to go, or whatever. So yeah, well, yeah. Worst case scenario, I think for the Knicks right now, currently, and I think. Oh, I got a little more juice on my phone left. I think worst case scenario for them, like right now, currently, is if they lose. Um, well, let me make sure. Schedule. They will have to win. I think they got to win out. Uh, 
We have four games left. They got to go at least 3-1 mm-hmm. or 2-2. Two, two. If the Knicks go 1-3 or 0-4, oh, I think the Knicks fall to the play Oh, yeah. That's when shit get dicey. Right. That's when it's the worst-case scenario where we fall to the play-in, lose the first play game, and then you lose the second play game. And it's like, now it's like, oh, shit. Right. We got this far, and now it crumbled within a week. Right. You know, early in the pod, you were talking about Pat Riley and stuff. When, when he came here, we already we already had a winning team. We had Gerald Wilkins. We had a bunch of guys. The guys were winning games, you know? So when he came in there, he went and just uh, got rid of mad people. Like like John Starks was the guy back in groceries, and now he's a starting shooting guard now. You know what I'm saying? So um, the Knicks had, had, the, had the ability to maneuver guys where – Say we could trade a Gerald Wilkins and somebody else to get, um, say like I don't know, we traded Mark Jackson and we got on uh, Charles Smith and whatever else, you know. But then we still had those young guys that call up to use them like that. So I think now the Knicks, um, they got guys like Dwayne Washington Jr. Mm-hmm. that nobody talks about him, but he's on the roster for a reason, you know. So if the Knicks decide to make to make that decision where we're gonna trade like a Josh or trade a Dante, something like that, in in the package to get that one player that we want, we we can move up. Like say like a Jawan a, a a um, Jeffries or somebody into those other spots, and I think they could fill in. I'd rather I'd rather go the vet route. Just go give me Mook Morris, so I could just punch somebody in the face. Mook Morris is done, man. Uh, oh, he's done. He's cooked. Cooked. I think he's cooked. Yeah, I don't think he's not. I don't think he's the same player. Um, same thing with what's what's money's name dude, that's on um on the Bucks. Oh, Chris Middleton. No, no, the, um, the other one, the the one um the one that they got from um he was on Phoenix. You know what I'm talking about? There's my phone. This is my phone. Chris Middleton? Not Chris I, Middleton. No, not Chris Middleton. Jeez. Let me get the box score. Knicks need one win. Or Crawford. Win. Jay Crawford. He's done. You know? Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. Jay Crowder, you mean? Jay Crowder, right, right. Yeah. There you go, Jay Crowder. Yeah. Jay Crowder's done. Yeah, he definitely is. Yeah. But, so, I mean, those, those are the players that people always go to, and, and those guys are getting up there in age now. They almost they all, all almost done. You know? Shit, we'll, we'll see, man. It's um no no ball stopper state. He don't like Mook Morris. Yo, nobody like Mook Morris. Man. <laughs> I mean, Mook, Mook Morris is a good player, but he's getting up there in age now. You know? Yeah, nah, he definitely is as well. Yeah, he definitely is as well. Knicks need once again the Knicks need one win or my Miami lost to avoid the play. So worst case, so basically worst case scenario, they lose out. Um. And they're in the play in. I don't think they're gonna lose out though. They're gonna like go two or two at minimum. Minimum, yeah. Oh. I think we're gonna smoke on um, the Bulls both both those games, and then we got a good shot. Um, who do we play next? We play on um, the Bulls, and then we play um, we play Boston. Yep. And then um, I forgot who the, who the fourth fourth team is. I think Boston. I think Boston uh, sit there guys for rest. So I think it's we possible could possibly win that game. We also had the. The Brooklyn Nets as well. Oh, one. barbecue chicken right there. Yeah, so yeah, so that's the one win. <laughs> but, you know, if, if the Celtics sit their guys out, then we might go four and zero. Yeah, that's a possibility. You know. Yeah. Oh man, y'all entertaining PG coming in next year. Clips not resolved. Who? Who? Paul George? Yeah, man. Uh, well, he's another guy. The guy makes like a million dollars a year. It's fifty million a year. I don't like Paul George. I'm like I. It, He's um uh what's the name Keen Anthony's goat. It, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like but it, it's not even that. I don't like the teammate he is. After like reading about how what happened with Indiana Pacers and what happened with Roy Hibbert, and I, I just don't like the teammate he is. I didn't like that. Okay. I don't like that at all. He was the reason why the Pacers was never good. I ain't gonna explain it on the air. You have to do your own research. But he's a slime ball. You're and, talking about women and stuff like yes, that. Yes, he is a slime ball. And I, I can't. I don't want that on my Knicks. I mean, yeah, I don't want that either, man. I, I don't well, want that on my Knicks. That's one thing with the Knicks too. They have they have a bunch of stand up guys on the Knicks, man. Yeah. Yo, know, we, we um we beat the Bucks at home, and and you would you would think that we lost the way the way the Knicks um demeanor was. Yeah. Every, everybody's extremely um professional, you know, and we we, we act like we've been there before, yeah. you know. So you know, it, look, even Chef, shout out to Chef, man. He's like, nah, PG, nah. If you won't go for PG, you might as well go for Braun. Yeah. If, if, if that's the case, if you want to trade for in Brandon Ingram, you try might as well try to trade for LeBron. Right. You might as well shoot for the stars. Right. You 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 
You got Jalen Brunson on one of the best seasons that you've ever seen for a Nick point guard. And you got Dante DiVincenzo. He just broke the goddamn three-point record. You got Randy. We just averaged 25 and 11. What's the holdup? Yeah, not for nothing. LeBron probably would be really good on the Knicks. But, <laughs> yeah, I tried to sell him on that. Huh? On the space. Yeah, I tried to sell him on that. They like, nah, yo, stay. Yo, you yeah, ima- imagine if we keep OG and somehow we traded for LeBron. LeBron and OG at, at the forwards. I'm or, keeping Randall though. Or okay, we can keep Randall and have LeBron and get rid of OG. I'm keeping OG too. You can't keep everybody though, man. So I'm gotta give. <laughs> so good. See, that, that's why that's why right now we can't we can't do it because <laughs> it's it just gonna be like you know then, then we're gonna have to like pull out the computers out. We're gonna start digging for numbers and all that. You it's know, it's a clusterfuck. Yeah, <laughs> that's a- we're gonna get there though. We're gonna get there, but today today is not the day. Nah, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. But that was like just going back to the the game yesterday. The Knicks, the difference between this Knicks team and like past years teams, they don't lay down. I think right. that's the that's the, the one of the biggest, never give up. They, they never give up. I think that's one of the biggest attributes you got for a certain Knicks team. Well, how mad were you when um when let's say Doc Rivers took out the whole lineup, but the Knicks guy stayed in there? How, how long? How mad were you? Was I mad? Yeah, were you mad about that? No. Because I just t- beat the hell out of them. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> the I'm looking at it like psychologically because it's like yo, the um the, the Bucks gave up, but yeah, but yeah. Tom Thibodeau kept our guys out there. So the bench, so the, the starters for the Bucks, now you get to look at the court and watch who beat you. Mm-hmm. You know? So I, I like I like the psychological thing about that. Yeah, he yo, he quit mid-game. I, I felt like that was like you don't tell your soldiers that. Right. You don't tell your soldiers that you don't you don't preach that. We give up early shit to so that's why Tibbs is certain things that I like with Tibbs, and there's certain things I don't like with Tibbs. Right. That's one of the things I like. Right. If I, and I think he do a little coke. That's just me. I just who Tibbs? Yeah, I think he do a little coke. I don't know about the coke, man. I mean, nah, I, I I think he do a little coke. You, you know who I think did coke is um George Carl, man. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think I think Tom Thibodeau might just be sleep deprived. I think. You know what I'm saying? I think he might be jerking off a little bit too much too. I think that might be the problem. Ain't no way he stands up the whole game. I watched him like literally stand up the whole next game. Yeah, I don't the only time he sat down was when he got into the huddle and he's drawing up plays. The whole game, he's just standing up. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, this fucking guy. <laughs> yeah, he might he might have like hemorrhoids or something like that, man. He's an old dude, man. You're like 60 something years old. I don't know. Shout out to Tiz, man. Um, yeah, man, great show, man. It was just like the old days, man. We got a uh, ninety-two shows, man. Like, like when you when you say that, I, I I don't even I don't even remember doing ninety-two shows, man. But but then when you scroll through all the shows we ever did, we legit did like ninety-two shows. Probably more than 100, 120. Yeah, hundred twenty if you count like just the audios and stuff like that. A lot, True, a lot of lot of content out there, man. People catalogs is long. Yeah. Catalogs is long. This is why you got to You know who the fuck I am. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> you know who the fuck I am. all the time. Yeah, man. Big players know who the fuck we are. <laughs> you best believe they know. Yeah, man. When we do get togethers, guys, you know, when I walk past, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? Yeah, what's up, man? How you doing? You know? Yeah, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I still right, say right, that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, God, tell me it's yeah. Twitter day. I'm, I'm just joking and stuff, man. But, you know, those, those get togethers and stuff is the best, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. You almost cried at, at, at that um at the Blondie's joint. <laughs> he was fuck. He was doing this right, and he was like, "Oh man, I'm so happy, I'm so happy." <laughs> <laughs> Imagine we with a chip. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're gonna be butt naked out there. I know I am. Oh man, we we put, party. put on my leave of absence for real, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't, they ain't gonna see me. <laughs> they ain't gonna see me the whole summer, man. If we win the championship. How you go out on sick leave? What happened? Knicks won a chip. I yeah. need three months to record. I might put my papers in or something, man. <laughs> no doubt. Um, um, State, you got to do special. You got to do something special for the 100 show. Oh, that, that's probably. What, the 100 show for, for me and you? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, we'll think about it. I'll probably have a calendar in the next thing so I'll probably be drunk. So, <laughs> so. That that thing that you're gonna do is that is that is that, is that the people know about it yet or are you waiting for uh, for what uh, the one that's coming recent with Mister with the chef? Nah, everybody know people know. I said right. already. If you if you don't know, I'm definitely gonna be 
um, next week. I'm going to be in Queens um, doing a live stream from Chef Restaurant Astoria. Um, Shouts to Chef John, man. Appreciate the the opportunity. Try to bring some new flavor to Nick's Twitter. Uh, What's the day and the time? I think it's it's going to be on Sunday. I just noticed it was a game on Sunday. I totally forgot. At 1 o'clock. Yeah, totally. It's the last game of the season. I I totally forgot. (laughs) Like totally, I disregarded the whole game. Yeah. So, um, with Chef, actually, I probably started up probably like around like six. I probably give people the graces, give people like a two, three hour graces. I right, no doubt. Of um, because you know Nick and Ada, you know Nick and Ada, he, he's like your, one of your rivals. You know the, the Marvel, you know the Marvel. Um, Nick and Ada, yeah, Nick and Ada know. mad at me. Yeah, I know. He mad at me because I, I said I was going to fuck his um his his watch party up. Because uh, you know, dudes like Ariel, they want to keep coming at me on, on the internet. Well, we we, we could of it. if you're gonna start it at six, then we could pull up to to the his watch party <laughs> and, then, and then we do the after party at, at um in the story. <laughs> you know, it's only thirty minutes yeah, apart. I, you know, I, 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 we definitely, definitely can. Yeah, it's uh, shout out to Nick and Nader, though. That's my that's my OG. He did he, he tagged me right now. He blocked me on Twitter and all that. He did. He did. Oh he man, said, come on, stay on. He did that and that and that. All right, so tell your man chill. That's your man, right? Who? Um, I, the rest of them stupid ass random Abbies that's always talking out the side of their face. Yeah, you can't give um when you say random Abbies, man. You got you got to be clear. Those those are people that that don't have don't have a picture up. Yes, you know, random Abby. Right, it's people no. A random navy is a person who you don't have your picture up, but you don't even post your own tweets on your Twitter account. Right. You only retweet and you only attack people. Right. That's a random navy. Right. Those are the people I'm disrespecting. Right. It's random navies that hit me up for merch. I, I'm not disrespecting those random navies. Right. It's random navies who will, who will disagree with me on the tape. But they don't need to bring up my pod, or they don't need to bring up the merch in order to actually, like, go at me about the tape. Right. Like, Cam Newton is at it best. Attack the tape, right. not the person. Right. You don't know me from a hole in the wall. Right. Right. I don't need to be tough. I right. hang with tough niggas. <laughs> right. right. I don't. That's been itching to rob somebody. Like right. itching. So like, I, I don't need. I don't. Like, I don't come for y'all for that. I don't share y'all tweets and disrespect y'all. I share y'all tweets and I show everybody love. I give out free merch, free subscriptions, free um, sub stacks, free Reddit posts, free every everything is free. The only time you pay for something is if you want to pay me for something. Right. So it's like, come on, bro. Right. It's also not about who you know either, man. It's just that, like, once you face to face with somebody, it's like, so what did you remember that? T- remember that shit you said? You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be like, oh, I'm gonna get somebody on you. We right there in front of each other. You know what I'm saying? So I, I would like to get away from that. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Just get back to the basketball, stop making it so personal and stuff like that. Because because like uh we were talking about it before, when guys see you in person, they want a picture. You know, that sounds like um that sounds like like we were talking about celebrities and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you um, oh you're like fuck you, J Lo. Oh, but I love you, Jenny Philippa. Let me get a picture for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we are we there now? You know, we we supposed to be doing this to get away from that shit. Yeah. So now look at us now, man. So, you know, people got to stop that bullshit, man. Life too short, man. Yeah, life too short, man. This this um this shit is not real, you know. But um, what what we bring to it is real. You know what I'm saying? So let let's let's keep it like that. Let's keep that that good vibe on uh, festering because we I mean, uh, truth be told, we we we've been saying it for years. We it, it's us. You know what I'm saying? It's us, and everybody's trying to be like us now. You know, everybody got a podcast. Pe- people that they can put millions of dollars into this, you know, they call it podcast. But it's really network television. You know what I'm saying? We're doing podcasts, but they're trying to steal that from us because they know the vibe. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Yo, it sounds like everybody, too. I am going to our, our own home. Who was the first people that started the Twitter space while doing YouTube live streams? Well, I mean, we did that, but I mean, you know, <laughs> like, any, anybody like, could do that, though. Anybody could yeah, do that. They, yeah, you know, any, anybody could do that shit. Because I mean, listen, they they call they call Sim the Pod Father for a reason because he was the first. Yes, you he, know, he was the a- first. Anthony MSG might have been the first um, audio pod, maybe. Yeah. You know, but um, like to to make to make the pod look like TV, I think um, Sim was the first one. Yeah, you know, and then shout out to another group too that that people forgot about, Mad Good um, um Nick's 
Remember them? On um, Mad Dog Knicks? No, it was on Mad Good Knicks Show. That's what it was called. Mad Good Knicks Show. I, yeah. I really don't remember them, but shout out to them. But they, at the time, right now they might have like maybe 4,000 subscribers, but at the time they were doing network TV shit. They had cameras and shit. They was doing um, pop-ups. They was doing video for Knicks official joint, but then they just stopped doing it for some reason, you know? So, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of originators that people forget about, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah, so... That, nah, that's a fact. That's a fact. Shout out to everybody who was, who was doing Nick content, man. Yeah, it man. Take up a lot of fucking time. Yeah, and just remember, we you know we do it for for the love, you know, because um there was no outlet. Now we now we are the outlet. Yeah. You know, shout out to Lloyd Banks, man. That's what's up. You know. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I know he's a Nick fan too, so that that's dope to see him in in the, in the spot. You know. Yeah, man. It, it's regular too. He's all copacetic. Like the dude, he come up, he regular. Like right. He's talking to us like we in the bed, we in the barber shop. Right. You know, some niggas be super fan in. Right. I'm the host, so I can't really like super fan. I ain't right. know yet. <laughs> I ain't gonna right, say right, right. like I, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just talk to you like you one of the homies. So they try to make him feel comfortable because I want action Brunson. Okay. Fat Joe. Right? They I, I know people watch it. Well, how many people is 373 people in here? Yeah. Right. You I usually don't so all due respect to the other Nick content creators. I don't see 373 people in there. Like, it, it, y'all got happens, way more man. subscribers than me. It's eps and flows, you know? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I just want I just want certain people to pull up now. Right. And I just want to make sure that I'm always consistent, always giving out stuff. Right, right. So um, hopefully the Knicks can get to the finals, man. <laughs> I think we're going get, to get there soon, man. You know, we, we could have got there last year, but Julius got hurt. You know, not only Julius, IQ, um, pissed the bed. Everybody pissed the bed that year. You know, but this year, Julius hurt again. We could have went to the finals again, probably. Um, but I think we're going to get there. I think one day everything is going to come together and we're going to get there. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully hopefully it's this summer, man. Um, right. Last but not least, Leon Rose. He's doing an okay job. Um, I can't really give him his flowers yet. I... I give him his flowers when he makes that move. Because the Dante DiVincenzo is not enough for me. It's not good enough. Because you signed Nerlens Noel, Kemba Walker, and we got me Alec Burks again. Your down moves like overshadows your good moves for me. Unless we just gonna ride out with the Jalen Brunson. You got me Brunson in. Right. Is he executive of the year though? Leon Rose? Mm, not this year, no. No. Nah, not not this year. In my opinion, in my opinion, the executive of the year is the executive for Orlando, um, a team that came what, out of nowhere. What did they do though? They started winning. <laughs> That's all they did. It, it, no, oh, they moved certain pieces around. You know, they got subs the last couple of years, Franz and, and Anthony Black, and all of those guys. You know, Gary Harris right. came back, but they didn't do that this year though. That's true. Oh, executive for the year is usually for like just yeah, just for the year. for the year, whatever happened oh, this year. Shit. Who the fuck with? They, they need credit for building their team. Absolutely. You know, but you know who? Matter of fact, okay. So if it, if I'm not gonna choose the Knicks to give our uh, unbiased band, I say um Houston. I say Houston. You get Fred Van Fleet, um, you get Dylan Brooks, a guy who I wanted on the Knicks to trip people and, and kick them in the nuts. True. Um Knicks are better than them though. That's true, but the, we didn't know they was gonna have this many wins at this point in the season. Yeah, I you guess you. They, they're now fighting for a, a, a playing spot. You know, right. I thought they was going to be like really, really horrible. I got you. Um, stay, bro. Stay, bro. UConn over Purdue. Who you got um, winning the night? I mean, UC UConn's been smacking teams, you know? They have. Um, but Purdue, you know, they, they have the X Factor, the big man they got. They got the big boy down there. Right. He, he's sharp. He, second round pick, he just got space the floor. Right, it, it's all about space the floor. Just like the dude from UConn, he's another dude. He got to space the floor. Right. Um, I got UConn though. The, I I really like the 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 guard, the Stephen Castle kid. Are they playing today? They, I think they're playing tonight. Yeah, Monday night. It's usually around 10, 10 o'clock. The championship game is always like on a Monday. Oh, they just started. Oh, they just started. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you know, two and oh man, yeah. I gotta watch the championship. 
Yeah, me too. This, that's a great segue. <laughs> yeah, right. That was 380. Let me take a fucking pick. This shit is special. Yo, matter of fact, all 383 people. Um, Motion. Detective. That's in here. Like, this. Let me take it. This means a lot to me. Uh, um, ever since, like, my pops passed away, I've been trying to, like, figure out how to, like, do the podcast and shit and will I still keep it going and it's y'all man it's y'all man appreciate I appreciate all y'all man especially Nick fan man Nick fans is one of a kind uh another episode of Dial State of Mind just shooting the shit freestyle I barely even now I, I didn't even look at the notes today and nothing like that it's you got notes shit yeah I had notes <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that um they delete I, I think I deleted them by accident um, I'm gonna definitely take UConn in this game though over Purdue. Um, yeah, she, yeah, shouts to Del, Della Music. Yeah, man, I didn't know. Um, I like Houston with the ballsy moves too. I agree with that. Pause. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Um, it's list stage. Shout out to you, T Wall. Appreciate you for popping up. Um, also appreciate appreciate the 380 fucking people, man. It's one of a kind. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all go cop the merch, man. S O I K. Um, dash. You know, Printify. You know. Is right there at the bottom. You see it right at the bottom. Um, go follow my Reddit posts, um, my Substack articles, man. S O Y K on Substack. My next Substack article, since we're about to tune into the college game, uh, I'm about to write about Brianna Stewart. Um, I felt like I got to show her love. One of the top five WNBA players of all time on a lot of lists. She plays for the New York Liberty as well. Right. And her first Sweet. season, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her first season, she got into the finals, right? So I think out of respect, <laughs> did she get the MVP too? I believe she got MVP as well. Yeah. So out of respect, I feel like I gotta write about this woman and, and teach myself about her and more about the women's game too. Because I, usually I do it takes me like two three days. I gotta watch games and, and shit like that. So right. that's my next Substack article that's gonna be on. Shout shouts to Brianna Stewart for even pulling up to New York, man. That that was special. Yeah, yo, in in the summertime, I think because I, I, I have I, I was doing Die Hard Liberty, you know, like a, um like a pod for them. I think for this season coming up, I'm gonna legit do every game just like I do for the Knicks. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do it for the Liberty too to see what happens with that. I think my sister my sister might get involved in that, so you know, look out for that. You might see me and my sister um, doing Liberty content. Yo, it's, it's a space for that too. It's dev- It's no. You look on, I, I mean, you do podcasts, you look on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or right. fucking, it's nobody who's doing that right now. Right. So it's a huge gap right? that can be filled. And that, that's a shame, too, because women always talking about that, that we don't give them, we, we don't give them a space, or whatever, people always talking junk, but the women uh, have the opportunity to do it, and uh, and we've seen it, we've seen it on Nick's Twitter, and we, we see it on national TV with the young ladies giving great commentary, you know, for the games and stuff, so... You know, um, get out there and just do it. You know, do um, you know, if you want people to to, get, to talk good about it, then you be the one to do it. Yeah, that's facts. why we're doing it. Yep. Hell yeah. You know, shit. You tired of listening to everybody else fucking opinion? You know what you do? You start your own shit. <laughs> you give your yeah. opinion. Start your own shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let let them make a Funko Pop about you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, this one cool. This, yeah. This came Funko Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, they better not fuck the next movie up. I, I'm telling you that. Yeah. Uh, no, but I got one more question, and then we get out of here. What? You watched the X Men show already? I didn't. I'm, is there a new one out right now? Yeah. I didn't watch the last one. Oh, you gotta watch. Yeah, I gotta, I'm probably gonna watch it tonight. Oh, it's it's the adult version. It's X Men at the dark. What they getting it's busy? For adults. Nah, they ain't get busy. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I'm thinking Fort Forge and um and um Storm was getting. Nah, nah. Nah, nah. But you, but you see, it's bad, like, snakey, snake shit going on, like, right, right. Needle and Rogue and yeah. all that. Gambit, she keep trying to press on Rogue, and she keep curving up. It, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's a lot. But it, it's great yeah, show. It, it was funny how Morph was um was um was playing him with the thing. He said, oh, was he messing with, uh, whatever, whatever. Well, he was in there from this time, this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. Yeah, this time. he kept clicking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wolf is wild. <laughs> but, I mean, that's supposed to be based on, on a kid's show. You know, it, yeah. they advertise it as a kid show, but that shit totally was not a kid show. Nah, that shit not a kid show. No, no <laughs> that shit's no way, no how. Yeah. They got blood in there and all that. It's, like, it's, it's not like... Yeah, like the first episode in the original series, Morph died. 
you know? Oh, yeah. He got killed. He got killed in the first yeah. episode. Like, Cyclops, weak ass, want to leave him. Right. Weak ass. That's why Wolverine punched him in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. Word up. Well, um, Eru, man, before we get out of here, man, um, what you got coming up next? Um, also, let people know that your, your merch website, too. You was one of the people. You was one of the people who was doing this shit way before. I had merch before I had a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was out there well, rocking uh, hats and, and hoodies and stuff. I said, yo, where'd you get that from? Oh, you got a podcast? I said, yeah, well, I'm looking at it. Well, yeah, technically I do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I never actually did the podcast. I just had merch before the podcast. Yeah, but, you know, right now right now, um, with the Nick stuff, you know, um, I feel like we've been doing it for a while, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. So shout out to Still Nick's, uh, Ron for Still Nick's. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. Here. Yeah, shouts to Ron. Yeah, he's coming through on on your on, on here, Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah. Doing the fucking game, like I totally forgot it was the last game. Yeah. See, I don't know how we gonna work. Man, if I would just get drunk. We just go back I don't right, know so, how that's so, actually gonna work. So, so that that Sunday you're gonna do a pod here, and then you're gonna go to the um. And, so I was, shit, I didn't. I forgot the game was on Sunday. Right. So this how I'm gonna try to do it. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do the podcast with um with Ron. Right. While the game is going. Right. We're gonna chop it up, shoot the shit. We're gonna um I'll probably be watching the game on my phone, like right there and uh, doing that. Right when I'm done with that podcast, either I'm gonna go to Alley Field House, I'm gonna go pop up on Nick and Nader, or I'm gonna just go straight to Queens and then just go um shoot the shit with Chef and just stay there. Cause my cousin gonna meet there too. Okay. And um I told Chef I need I need a nice plate of pasta. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> he gonna be eating doing that. Yeah, I'll be there too. I'm gonna be. Out, I'm gonna be outside that day, having having a good time and stuff. Right. But you know what I'm saying? Like me and Ron, we we actually on the front stoop when we do a hip hop podcast now. So shout out to any any new artists, any new artists, especially if you're a Knicks fan, if you're a new artist, whatever, and you want to be um profiled on um on the front stoop. It's called the front stoop on YouTube. Um, there's like 40 40,000 subscribers on the channel, so we're trying to boost it up. You know, with that show, and then I, I got a show that I'm gonna do soon, and then um, because it belongs to Sim, Simi and Russell from Nothing But Nicks, um, that's his channel. So um, he also has another show that's gonna pop up this. So we're trying to build that channel for hip hop, hip hop culture, and stuff like that. So that, that's what I'm doing with that. I'm still trying to do the Die Nick stuff, man. But um, you know, like I said, I, I need, I need, I feel like I need a little bit of a change. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm still gonna be doing content on Die Nicks, but it, things are gonna start to look a little bit different as as time goes on. You know. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree with that. Um, that's why, I, like, when I had my guy at Memphis, I'm on the show. Shout out to my guy at, at Chris. He's dope, man. I'm gonna it's crazy yeah, shit, man. I'm not having him on the show um, this upcoming weekend. Okay. At, at crazy, but we're not gonna really, we're not gonna really be talking sports like that. I actually wanted him to come on the show this weekend because I wanted to talk. Um, I wanted to talk about Black History. And, okay. Um, you know things are um you know like down south stuff and, and, and the culture. Yeah, I'm going to Memphis um in May. Oh, have a good ass time. Yeah, yeah. Wear a vest. <laughs> How about just stay out, out of those those um what do they, they call them? Those hick towns, whatever the, the daylight. What do they call them? The daylight towns. Oh, uh, you better get off my lawn. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> around here, everybody. <laughs> what are you Puerto Rican? <laughs> you one of those Puerto Ricans? Oh, yeah, man. Sounds Memphis, but I'm, I'm definitely on that on that type of time too. Like I'm still I'm still do the Nick podcast and, and, and do that. I'm still do the post games, but I definitely want to um branch branch out more and just you know SOYK pod and just talk about hip hop. You want to talk about um street shit and growing up in Harlem and, and shit like that. But have other people come on too. I also want, I want a, a female who does who covers the New York Liberty to come on my show. Right, that's like number one priority. It's hard to find them, man. Yeah, oof. The ones that are covering them, they, they already have NBA jobs and shit, so it's kind of hard to get get attached. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can't be, you can't company man, and then it, right. that, that's why Anthony MSG to go to me because I know MSG had to sign off on. They can sign off on everything. Right. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask family members. I ain't gonna say who of Nick players. Say yo, come on. I can't because MSG, they got a, uh, uh, and I get it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I get it. With Anthony pulling up, yeah, he, he's golden for that. Because right. I know they say, oh, yeah, you're going to pull. Oh, go right. ahead. Yeah, he, he certified that <laughs> shit. Definitely. Yeah, man. 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 Yeah, man
man. I, I, don't, I don't know how he does what he does, man. That shit, I, I don't think I have the stomach to do what he does, you know, because people are annoying, you know, like, hey, um, you know, uh, hit me up on the DM and, and uh, we'll, we'll work out the tickets. And I'm quite sure hundreds of people hit him up and people be ass betting them and all kind of stuff like that. I know that's got to be hard to deal with. Yeah, but yo, the one thing about it, you're always smiling. Yeah. You always having a good day. You know, yeah. nah, I need to get like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Always having a good day. <laughs> yeah, Word, man. I gotta get like it, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's all I got though. Um, I really do appreciate the 400. Yo, once again, appreciate the 411 people watching, man. It means a lot. This is like uh it's a lot of motherfuckers up here. Yeah, it's a lot of motherfuckers <laughs> up here, especially with Yukon, the Yukon game going on too, motherfucker. Y'all some crazy motherfuckers. But I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah. That's love, man. That that shit goes to show you um people seeing the work ethic, um, the content and, and, and thing that the things that I do. And I really appreciate y'all, man. Get those likes up and get those subs up. Um, outside of that, you know, I ain't got nothing else to say. I would like to tune in and to this goddamn UConn game. Yeah, hold um, on. I got to give me some food too, man. I, I'm doing Ramadan. I haven't, <laughs> yeah. eat, I haven't eaten nothing since 7 o'clock this morning, man. Shit. What? Yeah, daylight. I haven't eaten in the... the and um, when can you eat? Now. <laughs> um, 7.30, officially, I could eat something. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me get I got to get yeah. eaten out here. You got to go to stock. <laughs> Fucking food. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, but I appreciate all of y'all, man. Tune in once again, man. Um, peace and blessings to all the Knicks fans, man. We out of here, man. Peace, peace. out, man. Yeah.